Hey guys, welcome back to Watch Kid Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Colony Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are in a little bit of hoo-ha, guys. I've got to say we are doing a pretty well on the power generation front but as you can see if i press this button here we are starting to back up with the carbon dioxide this is because we have no way of dealing with the carbon dioxide apart from this carbon skimmer down here the carbon skimmer is not really getting worked on because as my people come down to work on these things they kind of get sidetracked by a lot of other jobs and uh, the hostile environment chases them away to try and fix some of the hostile environment that we have inside the base i've put this pump up here trying to deal with all the natural gas etc that is down here but you can see that we have a bit of a problem where gases are flowing down over the side of here into this pump and then by the same button being pushed back outside the base which isn't exactly what we want the carbon dioxide and the oxygen we kind of want inside so i'm going to put an airflow tile there and put that up to a high level of technology and have a quick look at the gas layer and think about where we actually want the pump now maybe we want to move it over here perhaps over this way there is a lot of carbon dioxide and oxygen being swapped here so i'm not sure about that i think all in all once this layer once this tile gets built it should be a good spot to start sucking everything out maybe we could actually make a little temporary area for it here uh, the ladder would be awkward but we could just like move out uh, the wall and start pumping that might be a plan in fact I am going to move this I think this is probably a uh, done with now you can see there's only little bits of natural gas and a whole selection of other materials coming out from there so I will go ahead uh, dismantle that and also if we come through here to gas pipes it's a filter that I don't use often enough is the one that selects the deconstruct but that, that's probably something we could use as well Okay, down this way the carbon skimmer has been finished but we have the whole infrastructure that needs to be put into place the power the uh tubes the pipes the pipes are what i'm thinking of tubes of course are a method of transport not a method of moving items and utilities so uh the cipher keeps saying that there's wetness here let's do that and I, they, I didn't think so i didn't think so they keep coming up and like um shaking their feet off as if there is a uh, water problems here but i would imagine that that would have happened here but it turns out no because of course they come down here they get their feet wet in the water they then climb up here and for some reason they don't shake off their feet until all the way over here i don't know why i really don't of course, one of the things that are going to help immensely is when we get this exosuit uh, overlay. Brilliant. I didn't know there was an overlay, but the exosuit's enabled to be built, and then we could, like, go around and put some checkpoints down, maybe put some serious business over here. With this pump going down, we should be able to start clearing out this area for uh, air lock air lock them. Uh, that's, that's basically what it's working towards, right? Okay, over here we have an excessive amount of chlorine in this space, but you can see that the vent is overpressurized, so it's not going to be a spilling out any more materials this way so we're gonna have to go and deal with that i think we're gonna go as far as it must be inside the base instead of putting down a gas reservoir yes indeed we'll just pop that there and hopefully with a few well-placed pipes we should be able to store all those in appropriate places oh everything apart from that one tile that one little pipe there it's not a uh, not an unreachable is it no it just means that it's uh it's a little hostile down there that's the problem it's just a little hostile Oh, if anything, this is pumping more oxygen out of the base. Uh, I'm not overly bothered about this because this means these guys have an area that they can come and breathe. But at the same time, I kind of did want to keep the base breathable as well. Ah, oh, the exosuit forge came in at some point when I wasn't paying attention. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that there. Maybe even run out some terrible power wires from the researcher just like that. Uh, and then we'll go and make ourselves a couple. Oh, but we need actual aluminium. That's all right, because this one deals with that. I'm not sure how much we'll need, but I will put about six in maybe. Yeah, we'll find out. Oh, everyone's complaining about the food situation. Uh, I mean, we're starting to sort this out. We really are starting to sort this out. But I need to do something pretty serious about it. We're going to come up here. We're going to turn off the lice loaf. Uh, can, can I actually turn that off just like that? Uh, and tomorrow morning, I am going to say that this is the most important job in the base by telling everyone top priorities. Okay, morning is here. I'm just going to quickly slam that on. Let's see who we interrupt. Mad Frank and Forrest. Little shame that it's Mad Frank, actually. He's kind of the guy that would be better down here. But we don't get to say who gets to get interrupted for these jobs. So we're just going to make a whole bunch of munch, munch bar, mush bar, whatever it's called, uh, so people can survive. 
Okay, we're still at top priority on the microbe musher because we've only made 3,600 of the 5,000 calories that we are trying to make. But I've noticed that Mad Frank made a dash up here for some oxygen. I have no idea how he got oxygen from up there, but I'm hoping that he comes down here and does this little pipe here because it's the one thing that's stopping a lot of things getting rolling. Okay, so now we actually need to try and work on the power. Oh no, Miss Aligned has started to starve. This is kind of bad. Let's make sure that she can actually eat the mush bar. Yeah, that's a thing. We do have people constantly making, so hopefully as she finishes this job, the next thing is going to be eat. I really hope she doesn't die in the meantime. No, she's got a thousand calories to be going with, but man, we are going to watch her go around and see if this plays out in a way that works out well for us. I kind of hope so. We are at currently at nine and a half hundred calories of the thousand that we were at when we started talking so there does appear to be a fair amount of time on this i've picked up some well she's picked up the meal lice that were available and is now coming down why 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 what are you why would you do that what's what's going i know what's going on let's turn off the super high priority here and let's let Miss Align go and eat, please. please let, let's just interrupt her if we can. Um, how about you move down here? Uh, does that interrupt your job? I think, I hope. We can, like, fingers crossed and stuff. Right, there we go. Okay, cool. Oh, someone's suffocating. That's always bad. Where are you, man, Frank? Okay, you're you're making your way out. Don't worry about that. You're, you're doing fine, right? Tell me you're doing fine. I hope everything's going fine. No, he's, he's actually having trouble. Okay, up here, this one appears to be a done its job, uh, trying to hold down this. I don't see anything other than really oxygen being sucked into there. Uh, there might still be natural gases to be got rid of, but not many of them. So what I've done is come down here. Now, this, unfortunately, will be a carbon dioxide trap, and then we're only ever really going to be sucking carbon dioxide out of there for a little while. Uh, but it should hopefully enable us to get hold of a bunch of this natural gas that is floating around down here as well, because that, that's what we really want to get out of here no 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 don't build yourself in there can't out you come we can just carry on building that without oh oh all right bye you're off okay everybody got a mush bar today but it's going to be troubles tomorrow we desperately need that chef come on uh, we, we just need to get a chef out of here i suppose this does mean we also need to start thinking about digging out this area up here and having a new set of rooms for people something along those lines Okay, the printing pod has told, told me it's ready to go. Building, supplying, tiny... What? What is going on? Nobody here wants to be a chef. I suppose we'll take the curative tablet. Hmm, a simple, easy to make remedy for uh, minor germ-based diseases. I mean, we'll print that, but it's still not what we want. Okay, we're starting to get some food coming through, but it's still not quite enough. 1,800 mil license, still not this up here. There are work errands underway, but man, we got we got to work. Wait. Forest, number one. What are you doing right now instead? You are taking rust to the oxygen supply. I suppose we'll let you off on that one. So I've been watching Mad Frank and Decipher swap back and forth with this life support, trying to get the rust into the rust machine, the oxygen machine over here that separates the rust and the chlorine out into two separate things. But it's um, it's not going so well for these guys. Every now and then, well, not every now and then, every time so far, they've picked up the rust, and then somewhere during the journey back, as soon as they, uh, as soon as they get that far, somewhere during the journey back, they end up dropping the item. Now, this has actually been a much better one. So far, Decipher's dropped them all down here, and Mad Frank keeps dropping them, like, down here. So, uh, maybe, maybe Maybe this is actually going to work out in our favor. I was really hoping that Mad Frank would go ahead and do all this wiring here, though it does look like maybe Forrest is going to come through. No, no. Oh, everybody just runs away. But as I said, uh, new, mill, new Millwood harvest time to go, so that's pretty good. There we go. He got it through. He got it through. He picked up that bit that had been dropped in here and is making a run for it across now. I was a little surprised to see that it even needed it because, as you can see, this is such a good area uh, to be working in. So much oxygen there. We also need to try and, like, sort out all this area, but that's what this pump's about, and it was kind of... Um, flowing through, uh, filling up this area here. So we wanted to keep the keep the um, the oxygen flowing to try and build up the pressure in the base. As you can see, we're starting to do so, uh, and this will definitely be a helpful part of the puzzle. And as I was saying, here comes Forrest to fill up, finish up the job. There we go, brilliant. Right, so we're going to end up with some carbon dioxide trap. Tra what do you mean food poisoning? What? Hey, 
No, no. Well, anyway, as I say, we're going to end up with some carbon dioxide trapped down here. That's not their biggest problem. I'm trying to extract all the natural gas out of here, though. So maybe I want to deconstruct this one as well. Maybe put a ladder in its place, and then we can... Um, jump across still uh, though honestly just just wait for it all to get drained out let's have a look at what the gas flow is it's almost entirely natural gas what's going on down this way oh 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 things have been working hey mad frank my my dude my dude you you've got things working here now we need to do is just like get the rest of this working also, why is this not done? The gas we're extracting from... Oh, 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 just, just as I start speaking classically, I was about to say the gas that we're extracting from here is so clean. Look at this. It's all just fresh. But now we're getting to some carbon dioxide. So I'm forced to have a look and see. Yeah, no, no. There's still a lot of natural gas here to be dealt with. Let's put that up on a higher priority. Oh, curse you, end of day. Curse you. You can see we've got more of this heavy watt wire going into place. Really hype about the fact that we've nearly got this, uh, this utility section down here finished. Okay, just a few more items left to uh, to change here before we are fully up and sanitized. Of course, coming in with new duplicates means we're going to have to come in with another toilet. I might even drop another toilet there and then have a sleeping area up here. Uh, of course, this means this needs to be got rid of, uh, and we get rid of that. And we also put down a whole bunch of ladders here. Yeah, I think that might be the case, that we do bring in some toilet over this way, because we can then drop the water into the nice clean system here. Maybe jump the bridge over. Yeah, that, that looks like a great play, actually. Okay, decide for coming along and doing the work of opening up this little gas vent here. Hopefully now it's just going to flow with pure, unfiltered natural gas. I mean, there's a little bit of other stuff coming through, but I suppose it's going to let people breathe. Sink and toilet, and then the pipes going in the right directions up there and down here. One of the good things about having them so far away um, in this manner, like we could have just pulled straight down there, but if it was the outflow pipe, which is not in this case, but if it was, uh, this little space here gives us room to pour, pour out some polluted ox uh, polluted water. Sorry, whilst this bottom pipe might might potentially be full and waiting to be filtered down that way. I mean, as it is, that never is actually the case, but it's it's a good thing to have set up. Also, talking about good things have set up let's put those on high priority we have reached an issue here where the chlorine is starting to back up and affecting our oxygen supply so obviously the uh, logical thing to do here is to panic and put a priority nine across all the items that i think will fix it i mean that think was a big thing there moving packets of a hundred grams at a time this is going to take a long time i mean each tile seems to be a hundred grams so maybe maybe we are slowly dragging away this edge here because that's that's what i'm hoping i'm doing is dragging away all this chlorine and natural gas down into this hole and letting the oxygen flow over these plants here because they're the ones that need it they really really are no, it's no uh, no food problems though right now we've got we've got over three thousand uh, five thousand sorry calories in all sorts of food Oh, decipher my boy coming through. Let's see how the airlock deals with this. Of course, it's going to be outputting into an area where there is no room for it, but maybe this will work out in the end. In particular, I'm wondering what this needs. Is it 400 grams of aluminium ore? That's going to be a lot of people back and forth. We are going to we're going to lose a lot of chlorine out of this because, of course, it is like super high pressure. Um, but at the, at the same time, every time we go through and do that, we will vent a little bit, as you can see right there. So I don't, I don't know. The swings are roundabouts, right? We're getting some oxygen out. So that, that's, that's also pretty good. Oh, and, and there we go. It's backed up. Another good thing about building these pipes is, of course, every time we get a new gas pipe. Ah, oh, no, I thought it was going to flow out and act like a reservoir. But, of course, that only works if it's got somewhere to flow. This will class as a, like, pipe blocked scenario. And it doesn't think there's vacuum in here. It thinks there's something, I, I, I guess. Okay, it says the cipher can reach this pipe here. I'm, I'm dubious, but we'll, we'll see what's going on. A four high pipe should be nice and simple. Ah, okay, yeah, there we go. That's why I like to make this uh, four high, because whilst they can't reach that top top tile there, they can, however, reach everything in there. Yeah, that, that's why I did it, honest. Okay, I've hit high priority on the the chlorine tank over here. I forgot what it was called there. The gas reservoir. Uh, because we, we need to get this built. We desperately need to get this built. I have no idea whether Lunar Cop is going to be able to carry everything in one go. And in fact, like, all my people have a lunch of skill points that we need to spend. I've not really been spending the skill points because of course, we've not been doing up the uh, the base at all. So uh, I, I kind of felt like the morale would be a little bit wasted there. Okay, so that's the two deliveries in place. No one actually coming to build it though. What, why, why would that be the case? Okay, how about if we go through and select Mad Frank? Hey, where are you and what are you up to? I want, 
I want you to come all the way over here, if you could, because I've got a feeling that you're the man who's going to be able to build this as quick as possible, and hopefully, by the time you've done running around, you're going to end up on this build, Aaron, because we do have big flashy lights on the go, and that, that may or may not work. What's the cipher up to? I hope you're not... Well, I mean, like, I hope you are coming to fix this problem, uh, but, yeah, everybody's running in here. Everybody? I mean, this is cool. The fact that we still have no gas reservoirs. It picked up sand. What? What is going on here? I, I actually am very confused. Well, uh, no, no, not very confused. Very confused is a bit strong. I am a slightly confused. Oh, come on, Mad Frank. Just, just finish the job before it. No? Okay. Only one of them is sleeping. It's the tiny baby hatchling. He sounds so cute. Look. Oh no, he woke up before I could actually uh, let you listen to what he sounded like, but I've been listening to it for most of the night. But as you can see, I've gone ahead and done some crazy job assignment over here because we're starting to take power power damages on the uh, on the power system here. That's because we've got some little, little itty bitty wires on what actually needs to be a pretty severe and strong system. I'm not sure how we're going to fix this side over here, but we will get on with that in a second. But I really want these guys to finish this lot off first. Actually, what I really want them to do is finish this lot. Oh! Oh, it's up and running. Is it actually up and running, though? Let's have a look. Okay, we've got a bit of a... No, 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 this is right. This is right. So what's going on here? Uh, we've got the... Water coming from here. Okay, yeah, this is right. Going into the sieve. And then this gets put out over this way. I suppose, yeah, no, that, that's a good loop. So why is this? Because the pipe is blocked. So what we need to do now is finish this line of pipes over here to actually enable the clean water to have somewhere to go. Thankfully, they're able to pick up most of the aluminium from all the wire that we ripped down and are able to take this into the builds that we want to uh, want them to have to build now. Uh, still not quite getting this built. I have gone ahead and put up the priority of these two tiles here in case that's what's stopping the build from happening, but I really don't think that's the case. We'll just have to wait and see what happens when they have done all their various jobs around here. Uh, hopefully got on with what needs... What, don't, don't, don't be repairing, please. No, you're, you're delivering. That's all right. I was really worried that there was going to be a... A, a repair going on and in fact there was which is a little bit of a waste but okay we'll, we'll live with that no mad frank running out just to come back i wish he wouldn't stand in the doorway like that but i suppose we can let him off as it is actually going to be finishing the job as soon as he goes and gets some air i'm guessing that's what he's doing right now he looks like he's suffocating oh i can't i can't click on him to find out yeah he's just recovering breath okay the cypher now being the one to come and work on the gas reservoir well, not exactly yeah the one that i would have picked for that very reason that he's not well known for holding his breath also he's not a very good builder uh not not any like your judgment on him he's just not very quick so watching these two for a little while, you can see exactly why I want Mad Frank on the building jobs. Uh, in the time it takes him to make three pipes, misaligned has only got one done. Uh, and that is just... That's just build, you know? That That's just building skills. Nah, misaligned is starving. Oh, go go eat. Just just go eat. That's all you need to do. There's food all the way over here. Are we going to just slowly watch you go and do this again? Today is the episode of starvation, it turns out. Man, we really need to try and do something about that. I suppose, you know, we are trying to do something about that. But look at all this natural gas here. How do I get it down there? Mad Frank getting totally covered in some food poisoning in there. But that's kind of okay because jobs need to be done. He says it's hot in there. Yeah. No, um, no, 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 but what, what, what's wrong with this? Why, why are you not, why are you not? Okay, I've put this building on to disable because I've got a feeling we need to just let all this gas kind of settle out. You can see how we've got a massive mound in the middle here. I feel like we need to let that all kind of come down here and pull in the corner uh, and then start the pump up again. I, I think that's pretty much the only way we're going to be able to deal with this. Uh, how we're going to deal with this side is anybody's guess. Oh, I got, I got a, I got a colony achievement. Let's click on here and see what it is. Let's go down. Big the bam, royal flush. Replace all our houses and wash basins in your colony with lavatories and sinks. I mean, that's what I've done. I'm gonna end up putting down more stuff, but you know, that's pretty good. Love it. Awesome. Nice. Okay, once again, using the alert abuse to try and get someone, just anybody building this gas reservoir. In comes Lunacop to make sure that the job does get finished letting all this chlorine out at the same time but you know what i'm not overly bothered by that 
Oh man, there we go. Luna Cop has done her job here, but look, here comes the Decipher. The, the lack of oxygen is a real problem in this side of the base. One that we could probably address at some point, but it's just as easy to get inside the base as it is up here. Man, that's yeah, definitely stuff that needs to be addressed. Other things that I want to address are this little ladder here. I would like to have these uh, ripped down as soon as possible because I want to put a, uh, a heavy watt joining plate through this gap here, just like I've done over here, uh, so that we can power these with wires that aren't gonna melt when we top up over the uh, when we go up over the top of the power load. You can see there we are touching over it quite often. Okay, again, crazy amount of jobs set, but all we're basically doing is taking out all the low watt wire that we've got running around here. And because it jumped through the floor there, I decided the best way would be to wire this through here. Little wasteful on the amount of wire on this run, but it saved me trying to put a, another join plate through here because it wouldn't overlap this join plate and trying to put it onto that gas pipe there would have been a little bit awkward. So I'm just gonna let the jobs work through like this. Wow, Lunacop on her own here, coming along with three separate errands to fill this uh, fill this thermal aqua tuner up with all the aluminium ore that it is after. Boom, boom, boom. Look at that, beautiful. Of course, now waiting for Mad Frank to come and build this. But it'll be interesting to see whether this actually has enough water around it to not instantly overheat. That that's going to be a question now we also need to somehow get this onto the same power network as the uh, rest of stuff here i kind of feel like we're just going to heavy watt wire over the top of everything is that is that a, a workable plan might be might not uh let's what what why is it not letting me do this what <laughs> okay it wouldn't let me try and pull in from the other side oh wow it's really weird all of a sudden and i don't know why but i kind of just want to do this and then all the way over there and down there and then we can destroy Destroy. Oh, look, this one actually needs to come over here like this as well. Okay, beautiful. Then we can destroy all of these power wires underneath like so. Maybe even that one there. And this should lead us, leave us with a fairly robust power system for this area over here, maybe. Yeah, we can just destroy this as well. Oh, wow. We've barely got started pumping and already it's on the dial. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how this handles this, especially as I would now like to... Oh, hang on up. The, turn this one back on, figure out how we can power it, of course, uh, and start cleaning up the area out here because there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of chlorine here that we just don't need. Well, at some point we got the uh, principles back through again. Building supply and reset. No, no, none of these. I'll take the barbecue package though. Still after a doctor and a grill face. Okay, one day later, I think it's time to turn this back on. And of course, this is top errand. I don't know why it's top errand, but top errand it is. I'm down for that, though. It gets the job done nice and quick. Luna comes along, turns the pump on. Everybody becomes okay with what is going on. And let's see what we're pumping. I'm expecting a bit of carbon dioxide because, of course, people were sleeping overnight out there. But, of course, out comes the natural gas as well, which is our main priority here. Okay, Thermo Aqua Tuna kind of hooked up. We got an empty pipe, but I should mean that that now means that down here, I should think, sorry, that that now means that we're going to be getting water flowing perfectly. This means the carbon dioxide is getting dealt with. This means that the liquid pump is also turning over. We can start moving things up and into this pipe, but of course, until the power gets lined in, we, we kind of just on a bit of a pipe dream at the moment. Ah, pipe dream, get it? I've been watching this tile of natural gas, and it goes up and down uh, pretty regularly, depending on who is going through the door. Mostly it's uh, on a downward trajectory. It gets down to about 200 grams or so when it gets left alone. But during the day, this is a very busy airlock, and there are nearly a kilogram of natural gas on the other side uh, on each tile here so obviously the diffusion gradient is not working in our um our favor here though mostly we are just pumping it back into the the gas system so technically if we just left the door open we would eventually empty all this out and then have a base full of chlorine oh the aqua tuna seems to be doing all right i'm not impressed with how hot it's getting already um we need to kind of can i can i disable this aqua tuna disable building for the moment you know what that's a high priority job as well if, if we could get someone in here to do that stat that would be pretty handy uh, i do like the fact that it's gaining temperature but uh eight, oh no, 87 seems to be no, wait 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 let's 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 not let's not get too hasty here 
All right, it took nearly 80 cycles, but we now have a renewable water system on the go. It's beautiful, if a little chilly, coming in at seven degrees, 10 degrees. I mean, it's, it's yeah, it's very cold. It's very cold, but we're taking out 21 degree water here at the moment. Eventually, that is not going to be as chill as that. Eventually, the water coming out of this will be incredibly heated from the power of the area around here. Have they still not finished these? I'm reaching for fields, and these are also not done let's just quickly do that and see if that helps i mean i suppose actually opening these to uh default entry and exits would probably work let's go with this side instead like that beautiful so totally totally didn't wire up a sink the wrong way here hopefully someone's close enough to be able to go and fix that beautiful 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 we, we do it this way around nice Okay, small spillage averted, and everything seems to be looking uh, proper and good now. Has this been turned off, or is it just not emptying as much water as we thought it would? Okay, that that's fine, that's fine. I definitely want this side to be the priority here. I wonder how I set that up. Okay, legitimately just ran out of water over this side. That's something we don't want to happen. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out a way of setting up some sort of like valve on this system. Is that something we can do? Let's have a look at the plumbing down here. We've got a filter. We do have a valve. Um, let, let, let's just do it, shall we? Okay, good work, team. We're going to bring this right down to one gram a second. Can we do that? I want it to be like a maximal, an um, actual minimal number. Uh, okay, that change setting is a setting. Okay, let's put that up to nine if we can. That's fine. We'll just wait for someone to come and do it. Let's make it the most important job in the world, shall we? Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, Luna, Luna, you literally got there and then you ran away. What is this? What is this? Okay, it turned out Luna had actually set it to one gram a second. We seem to be doing okay so far. I'm not sure if we are prioritizing out another direction. Oh, look at that. Okay, yeah, that's working well. This might actually work to our eternal favor if it actually then lets out a bigger lot next time. No, no, it was just one, two big watts. Okay, that's, that's good. That's good. Okay, eventually we're gonna end up backing up here like quite a ways. But it's misaligned. Don't worry, she's 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 not really meaning it. Is, is she actually really meaning it? I don't think so. No, she can come down here and get some a life life. But yeah, finally we've got ourselves a little system where eventually this water is gonna back up, and then we need to start uh, playing around with the liquid value so that we can start making it match that, and you know, uh, eventually it'll just uh, balance itself out beautifully. But I think with that, I'm gonna say. Thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys and next time. We're going to move on with actually thriving on this base. We're going to have to find ourselves some ways to make some refined materials. We've got those exosuits finally underway, so we should, should be able to get around doing that. We can definitely want to clean up the atmosphere outside of both our media airlocks, but I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye!